what I figured out is that there's a lot of commonalities here, but there's a lot of things I think uh, we in the freight industry are forgetting that maybe sales is already learned in other industries. Always begins with a firm, firm understanding. It's really about understanding your industry as a whole. Transportation at its core is a commodity industry. You want the understanding of who you're selling to and what the industry is. And this is what we like to call our ideal customer profile. We like to think about these four very basic questions. What does their daily routine look like? What do they love and hate about their job? How will they be compensated by their employers? And four, who are they competing with? Forget the services that you're selling. Your customers aren't buying services, they're buying value. And this falls right in line with what we consider multifaceted value. We also like to keep it big picture. We like to think about the overarching goals that our prospects are trying to achieve. You wanna think about these big picture goals that your customers might have and sell to those instead of the very niche features in transportation. Our services that we provide are only a small part of what our customers care about. Likewise, for a transportation company, what you're selling to your end customers is only a fraction of their total product. Don't just think about how you're gonna do things. Think about how you're gonna do things differently from the way they're doing. We like to think about it for big picture as helping first, selling tomorrow. It's all about developing that consultative and that advisory mindset. The mute button on your phone is probably the most powerful button on it. So when you're the seller, the most powerful thing you can do is to ask smart, open-ended questions, press that mute button and take good notes, listen to your prospects. And when we talk about speaking less on calls, we're in part making our customers the heroes. In sales, I think we have a way of talking. Here's what we do. We can help you do this. But did you catch that last part? I said, how can we help you? They don't want to be helped. They want to be the hero. If you make them feel unimportant again, that makes them feel expendable. It makes your decision maker feel expendable. And you never want to do that. It goes back to understanding the customer, understanding what drives them and understanding how they're compensated. Part of that process of telling a compelling story and making them the hero of the story is being a person instead of a corporation. Harvard Business Review did a study a few years back, and this is a very interesting one. A full 20%, 25% of the reason why people buy from a certain seller is because of the salesperson on the other end. You could be losing 25% of your deals, not because of the service, but because of how you're portraying yourself. And beyond LLs, from a psychological standpoint, from a neuroscience standpoint, people want to be sold to by people. Each one of these points, I think, in and of itself, isn't too, too difficult to do. It's, but it becomes very, very hard to turn these into a complete package to sell. When I tell this to people, they confuse selling the complete package as selling everything. Just because you're selling a complete package does not mean you never need to say no to your prospect. Value plus perspective plus trust will beat a commodity price any day of the week. Be a consultant, not a used car salesman. It is untrusted pushing versus trusted pulling. Sell value instead of services. Thank you so much everyone for listening. See you later everyone.